This is the Magic Square game used for introductory programming class at UIC Fall 2010. This game is similar to Tic-Tac-Toe where players take turns selecting a position on the board, in this case by choosing a number, and uh, a piece is placed in their selected position and uh, so if a player chooses let's say four then that would be replaced by an asterisk. Getting three in a row for either rows, columns, or diagonals wins the game. The tricky part is that both players have an asterisk placed on the board so you have to keep track of where your pieces are and also after uh, the third move and the sixth move the board is rotated by 90 degrees clockwise. So let's begin take a look at how this works. So player one gets to go first and player one's entry is four for the upper right hand corner and that shows how they, the four is replaced with an asterisk. So now it's the turn for player two. Notice how the move numbers are numbered here as well as uh, something saying if it's player one's turn or player two's turn. So player two goes and selects seven and then it's player one's turn again and just to illustrate error checking if player one were again to choose seven which is not no longer on the board there's an error message, sorry that number's not available, try again, and we get to replay that same move for the same player. And so in this case now, player one says, okay, how about going in the middle of the board right here in position five? So by typing in five, then that five gets replaced by an asterisk. Since this is move three, also the board is rotated. So it's rotated 90 degrees clockwise. So this two that was in the upper left-hand corner moves clockwise and ends up over here in the upper right hand corner likewise for the other pieces on the board. So now it's player two's turn again. So player two let's say selects uh, position let's say six. So think right now uh, player one has this piece up there and this middle piece and when they were rotated it's now this diagonal coming right down here. So uh, player two wants to block the potential win there by selecting six. So there's the six so now player two has these two pieces and player one has these two. So player one uh, tries to establish a winning configuration here by playing into position two. Um, and then let's say that player two forgets which is which and thinks that by putting a nine here, uh, player two can get three in a row in this vertical. Um, and so player two selects nine and then the board is again rotated. So remember um, upper right, middle, and lower right belong to player one and after the board is rotated now these are now lower left, middle, and lower right like that. So now we have an opportunity for player one to play up here in the upper left hand corner and win the game by getting a diagonal here. So playing the eight in fact gives it winning configuration. Message player one wins. The actual board was the following. It displays the board and exits the program. If you get all the way to the end of the game and no player wins, it again displays the board and shows who played where, but the message it just says nobody won, try again. Enjoy the program.